African leaders are not the only ones shunning the West's push on homosexuality across the globe in the name of freedom and human rights. During a recent visit to Uganda, which has recently enacted some of the strictest anti-gay laws in the world, Aaron's president, Ibrahim Raisi, harshly attacked Western nations' support for homosexuality, claiming that they are attempting to end the generation of human beings. As part of a diplomatic push to break Iran's isolation due to heavy U.S. economic sanctions and strengthen the ties with the African continent, the Iranian president embarked on a three-day trip to Africa visiting Kenya, Uganda, and Zimbabwe. Following a private meeting with Uganda's president, the Iranian president, Ibrahim Raisin, stated during a press conference with President Yuri Musvini that having the culture of establishing and forming a family, and at the same time the culture of genuineness, is another common point between Iran and Uganda. We pay great attention to the issue of establishing families, and we believe that it is a fundamental principle. The Iranian president went on to say that the West is today trying to promote the idea of homosexuality, and of course by homosexuality, they are trying to end the generation of human beings, and at the same time, they are acting against the inherence and the nature of human beings. I believe that this issue and these strong attacks by the West against the establishment of families and against the culture of the nations is another area of cooperation for Iran and Uganda. He also said that the Western countries try to identify homosexuality as an index of civilization, while this is one of the dirtiest things that has been done in human history. This trip by the Iranian president is the first to the African continent by any Iranian leader in more than a decade. By emphasizing conservatism and anti-colonialism in his Uganda speech, he appeared eager to connect with African countries on more than just economic grounds. Aside from criticizing the West for its promotion of homosexuality, the Iranian president also criticized the West for being greedy and arrogant towards developing countries. He stated that the West often accuses developing nations of violating human rights, yet they are the biggest abusers of human rights. He went on to suggest that Western countries must recognize other countries' independence and freedom, adding that because of Western countries' dominance, they do not want to see developing countries adding value to their resources or to process their raw materials. Raisi further stated that despite being sabotaged by Western countries, Iran has made progress in various areas. He provided the example of medications and pharmaceuticals, claiming that they create 95% of the drugs required. The Iranian leader also offered Ugandan President Museveni backing for a large project to develop a domestic oil refinery and pipeline, which has been challenged by environmental groups and has faced legal action in France, as well as condemnation in the European Parliament. The president added that Tehran was ready to share its oil industry experience. While the West was not generally interested in seeing countries with great resources and national reserves become independent. At his first visit in Kenya, Iran's leader described Africa as a continent of opportunities and a great platform for Iranian products, adding that none of us is satisfied with the current volume of trade. He highlighted his visit to the East African superpower as a turning point in the development of relations between the two countries. President Rudo, for his part, described Iran as a critical strategic partner and a global innovation powerhouse. He revealed that the two countries had signed five memorandums of agreement covering information technology, investment, fisheries, and other sectors. These memoranda will enhance and further deepen our bilateral relations for sustainable growth and development, he added. Furthermore, Ruto added that Ibrahim Raisi had disclosed plans for Iran to establish a plant in Mombasa to manufacture an indigenous Iranian vehicle that has now been given the Kiswahili name Kifaru, which means rhino. With Abraham Raisi's visit, Aaron joins China, Russia, the United States, and other countries in striving to deepen diplomatic and trade ties on the African continent.
What do you think of the Iranian president's visit to Africa? Do leave your comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and put on the notification bell so you will be the first to know when we upload more videos like this.